Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can batch rename Illustrator layers. We're going to take something that's like this where we have a ton of layers which just have the name copy in it, or you can take any amount of layers and rename all of the scripts sequentially or in whatever algorithmic way you want. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you would like to help support the YouTube channel, you can, in the description, become a channel member. Uh, you can get cool perks and become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So the way this works is going to be super simple. We're going to write this from scratch, and we're going to be able to easily name these layers however we want. So we're going to start by creating a new JavaScript file. And I'll zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. The first thing we're going to do is create a main function. This is just going to be where the main code that executes is going to be run in. And then we need to also call this. So when the script first launches, it's going to then just run our main function. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get our document that we assume is open and get all of our layers and change their names. So the first thing I'm going to do is say if app.active document, this means the application of Adobe Illustrator. If there is an active document or basically something open right here, then that is good. But if it's if it doesn't return us with anything useful, that means they don't have anything open and they're very likely at the uh, startup menu here. So we're going to say if there's no active document open or if active document is equal to null, we're going to tell the user with an alert, please open a document first and then we'll say return false. And what return false will do is basically quit out of this function, which is exactly what we want as they don't have a document open yet. We're going to then put in an else statement, which says that if they do have an active document, because that's the only other option, if this is null, but now if they have something open, that's the opposite case then we know that we have a document open. If that's the case, let's create a variable called document and we'll set this equal to our app.active document. And we're going to go ahead and alert our document.name. We want to make sure that this is working right first. So first, I'm going to run this without an open document. And as you can see, I get a, an error. Maybe we can change this to this logic. So actually this logic is causing an error. I think one way we can try and get around this is by saying app.documents. Actually, I'm going to alert app.documents in app.documents.length really quick, which gives us a list of documents and the length is zero. So what we're gonna say is if our documents.length is less than one, that means we have zero documents open. So now if I run this, we get please open a document first. So instead of checking if it's null, check if you have at least one document. Now I'm going to open a document. And now when I run this, it should give me the name of the document. You can see I have my readme.pdf. Perfect. Now we want to get all of the layers. The way we do that, I'm going to create a variable called layers to store them. We're going to refer to our document that we now know is open and dot layers. Now dot layers is going to give us an array full of all of the layers. And the way we loop through arrays in JavaScript or any programming language is typically with a for loop. We're going to start with a variable i is equal to zero because arrays start at index zero rather than one. We're going to go until i is less than our layers dot length. Then we'll increment i by one. So we go from layer zero to layer one to layer two, etc. If I wanted to illustrate this, I could say right line layers i. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you can use an alert for this or just uh, set a breakpoint and uh, create a variable with the layer. But if I run this, you can see I'm going to get two layers displayed here. Let's grab the names so we understand it a little bit better. Now, all we need to do to change their name is grab the current layer or layers i and say dot name. Before we displayed the dot name, but now we can set it with an equal sign. Whatever we put on the right side of this equal sign is going to be the new name. So if I just wanted to say random text and I run this, you can see it's going to name each one of those layers with random text. But we want to get a little bit more specific. I'll just call it like my 
new layer name. I'll add a space at the end here, and then I'm going to add my i variable because my i variable is equal to the number of that current layer we're looking at. So if I run this, you can see we're gonna get my new layer name zero, my new layer name one. We want to actually start at one though, so I'm going to add one to my i variable. And now we should get our layers in a nice ordered name starting at one, going up to however many layers we, we have. So if I just go ahead and duplicate this a bunch of times, and then run it, you can see it's going to very quickly rename all of our layers. And of course you can go in and do different things, use different algorithms or variables to name these in whatever sequential or numerical order you want. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to rename Illustrator layers uh, with a script. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you also follow us there for coding updates. Also in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other live updates as well. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel financially, you can get cool perks at the same time. Link in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.